Hello, I'm Robin Wischel with the Bahamas Weekly. And we're standing today at the 12th annual Bahamas Weather Conference held on Grand Bahama Island in the beautiful Bahamas. This weekend, 100 meteorologists from the US, Canada, and the Caribbean, including the Bahamas, have gathered together to talk shop, and shop is weather here, and weather focusing on the Caribbean. This morning, an exciting announcement was made, and it's the annual forecast prediction for the hurricane season of 2008. We have an exclusive interview with Dr. Gray, who puts out that forecast, coming right now. I'm Bill Gray. I'm a professor emeritus at the Department of Atmospheric Science at Colorado State University. I've been there 47 years. I think I'm going to stay, but uh, I've been studying hur uh, hurricanes a long, long time, uh, for around 50 years now. I hope I've learned something. Some of my critics say I haven't learned as much as I should have. But anyways, uh, uh, it's uh, very nice to talk with you here. We're here for the 12th Weather Conference. It really uh, deals with hurricanes mostly, and it brings together uh, a lot of us uh, forecasters or people that study them, a lot of the TV weather people around the country, emergency managers, um, uh, government officials, and various things. And we talk about hurricanes and problems of communicating them to the public and various other things. So it's a nice, most people like to come here. The Bahamas is a very nice place. My uh, colleague Phil Klotzbach and I updated our seasonal forecast. We issued these things a long time before the season starts. Our first forecast was in early December of last year. We called for an above average year then. Now Today, April 9th, we've uh, upped the numbers. Things look more favorable than they did four months ago when we issued our forecast. So uh, there's really three big things. One, we're in this new era for major storms. That's a, a, a Sanford Simpson category three, four, five storms. The ones that have maximum sustained winds uh, 115 miles an hour or more. And uh, since 1995, we've had 49 of these storms, which is a little under four per year average. Whereas in the previous 25 years, 1970 to 94, we averaged only 1.6 storms, only about uh, 35, 40 percent as much as we have recently. So we're in this new uh, era for storms. More like what we had in the 1940s through early 60s. There are these periods where you get a lot, uh, you get more storms and periods of uh, 30, 35 years when you get fewer ones. So we've come out of this, uh, we had a great reduction of storms from the late 60s to the middle 90s. Now we've had a lot, but the U.S. and in general uh, has been fairly uh, lucky in that we've only had, uh, at least from the U.S. point of view, two bad years, 04 and uh, 05. And people say, well, that might be due to global warming or so. We don't think so, no. The, the, the main thing that causes the Atlantic Basin, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, the U.S. to be hit is the uh, Atlantic Ocean circulation. What we call it is this thermohalian circulation that tends to flow faster for 30, 35 years and slower for 30, 35 years and, and faster again and it goes back and forth. And when it flows faster we tend to have more major hurricanes. So uh, Anyways, we've been sort of lucky, uh, except for 04 and 05 seasons. You all have been fairly fortunate here in the Bahamas. You haven't been hit uh, quite as much as you might have been in this active period. We can only give probabilities. We think the probability of uh, landfall here is about uh, oh, 30, 35 percent higher than the long-term average for this year. But that doesn't mean it's going to be hit, or it also doesn't mean you may be hit a couple of times this year. But this does look like a little more active year coming up. Now, we'll be issuing um, updates on this forecast in early June and early August.
The way we do it here is, uh, of, of course, uh, there's such a, a, a desire to know what the coming season is. There's a great curiosity. Nobody can tell you with any assurity what it's going to do, but you can give odds for it. And what we do is we look at the past 60 years or so and look, there were certain active seasons, certain inactive seasons, and we find three, six, nine months before the season there are typical uh, oceanic or atmospheric patterns that are typically different before active and inactive years. Now they don't always work, but they work the majority of uh, time. So, we think people want to know what they are. The average person should know we can't tell for sure whether a storm's going to hit. We'll never be able to. Nobody is. But you can give odds whether the season's likely to be active or not.